Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. This is your dear Annie here in the Philippines. For today's video, I am letting you get to know me a little better whether you're a newcomer or a long-time subscriber. I really appreciate you being here in my channel. Well, to start talking all about myself, am I ready? Well, I don't have choice. Let's go! Way back 2013, I went to Hong Kong at the age of 23 years old to work as a domestic helper. Yes, I am a domestic helper at Hong in Hong Kong for almost 8 years to help my family. And then I came back to Philippines year 2021 because my father got sick and passed away. And then the twin, uh, COVID-19 is still kicking up. So I decided not to go back again to Hong Kong and do my own thing here in the Philippines. So I applied as a call center, not that long though, and decided to make my own little business. I really love to cook. So I did my business, like I cook Filipino cuisine, Filipino food, Filipino snacks, yeah, and then I got lots of order and I'm, I'm happy making my own money. And then one time, I decided to start a YouTube channel. At first, I am not really focused on my channel. I just wanted to make travel videos, vlogs about my country, especially Davao City. And then just this year, I across videos, those foreign man looking for Filipina woman or to date a Filipina woman. And then I thought to myself, I can do better than some of those who are moderately successful. And then um, Dear Annie here in the Philippines was born. And you can ask me anything and everything here in the Philippines. So I gathered questions from all of you guys. So without further ado, let's start the first question. Well, the first question is from Max Power. He said, like, are you city girl or a province girl? Well, my answer is I'm a mix. It's like I'm a city girl. At the same time, I'm a province girl because... I have also, we have also house in the province and which is five hours away from the city and I spent three years in the province since when I was seven years old and I have been in Davao most of my life when I was 10 years old and we're still coming back to the province especially if we have longer holidays yeah we prefer to stay in the province because, especially me, I prefer to stay in the province because it's more peaceful and I think I have, I can find my peace of mind. <laughs> yes, I love province more. For our next question is from Peter Berthman. How old are you, Annie? Well, I am 34 years old but turning to 24. You can watch my shorts so you have idea how old I am. Yes, Peter, I am 34 years old. Next is from Superman. What happens if the husband doesn't care that you're in Tampo? What if that's the only way to get some peace? Well, Superman, I think you may be into something here. But to be honest, Tampo is a good time for you to get some peace. <laughs> yes. Next, Colin. How far do you live from the beach? I like to swim. Um, I live in Davao City. It's like 20 minutes travel by ferry going to Samal Island. And I love going there just to enjoy the beach and yeah, just to enjoy the water from the shore. Actually, I don't, I really don't know how to swim though. Maybe you can teach me how to swim if it's for free. Thank you. Next, Rob. Have you been in a relationship with a foreigner? Well, actually, yes, I do. But no more right now. I'm single. Next, from Sharak. 
blue eyes or green eyes? Do you understand only 5%, 0.5% of the men in the world have those eyes and all of the other have brown? Mm, yes, I know that very few of you of those people in your country have don't have blue or green eyes, but can you blame those girls just dreaming for those things, especially me? Yeah, just leave it that way. Next, it's just from Shudushi. Your spoken English and American, your spoken English and American accent is perfect. How do you achieve it? Um. Thank you for the compliment about my English. Well, actually, I learned it from school and it comes easy to me. And also, I work in abroad for how many years? Oh, sorry. For how many years? And yeah. And also, it really helps me to improve my English when I was working in call center as a call center agent. Yes. Next. Sudushi is the same person. Sudushi said, Do you want pumpkin pie or cherry pie? Mm, well, I have not I haven't tried those ones. Why don't you let me try those ones so I can tell you which one is better? Yes, to be honest, I haven't tried those. Thank you so much. And Drake from Drake question. You're missing a handle on your prime pan. Do you need it fixed? That is so kind of you, Drake, for volunteering to do, to fix my frying pan. Frying pan. Why not? Thank you so much. And uh, next, his question is: Am I single? Well, currently I am single and I am ready to mingle. How do you view foreigners' relationship? Are foreigners just walking ATMs? Well, for me, I approach relationship with foreigners with an open mind and I believe having a relationship in foreign men provide me or gives me an opportunity to learn about different cultures and perspectives. And is foreigner are just walking ATMs? Well, for me, if I have a foreigner partner, he don't need to give me money. I know how to make money. And I did a lot of hard works, like uh, jobs abroad, and I know how important money to how important money to spend and to earn. And for me, I I view marriage and relationship traditionally. So I'm not looking for a man who support me before marriage. Yes. And next, next question. What are my own personal view on large age gap relationship? Well, in my views, the most important aspect of any relationship is mutual understanding and respect. While age gap for me can bring unique challenges. And but you know, they don't know they don't re necessarily dictate the success or failure of a relationship and i think it's about the individuals on how they will complement to each other yeah for but each doesn't matter next question is from g evans how is that so many filipinas speak good english is it commonly thought in school um yeah we learn to speak in school and I think the younger generation spent their time in at the internet like watching YouTube and I think they teach us teaches them speak good English and for me I work in abroad and I really need to speak in English in order for me to communicate with my employer and to those people around me. And I work also as a call center agent that really Im helped me improve my English. And by the way, I work in Macy's account. Maybe you're one of those customers I encountered before. Why not? Yes. Next is from Max Power. 
As a foreigner, I am very aware of the fake relationship that exists just for the betterment of the Filipina. So I would be very interested to hear your own views. Well, for me, I believe that even those fake relationship benefits both the Filipina and the foreign men. It's like the Filipina gets the security and the foreign man gets the companionship. So I think both parties benefits. And I also believe those fake relationship can go can grow into a loving ones it's like many are not fake at all it's just like two adults um that love each other very much that's what i think yeah next question is bill lloyd annie how tall are you how tall are you well i am just five foot nothing yes Next, Clyde Allen, what do you like in a man? Mm, good question. Well, for me, I like that kind of man that is not arrogant. And I don't like flashy men that shows all of their money. Money doesn't impress me. And I like the man that is active and physically physically fit but in all ages or any ages i prefer to have a the older partner and that is stable and know what's what they want in life and i like a man who is line his action align his words to this uh, to his action yes yeah action speaks louder than words for me something like that next question is from Irvin. hi annie i have heard on the other channel that philippine wives take offense on the men helping out in the kitchen is it really true or not well for me it is really depends on the it's like it's really depend it's like the attitude of var, var, attitude varies amongst individual i think and number one is communication is the key like discuss with your partner those household responsibility uh, openly and yeah understand each other's preferences and expectation that's what i think and yeah what else that's it Oh, by the way, who's and Bruce B wants me to answer all those questions that I throw to those girls, like those fast talk. Yeah, why not? I'll do it. Okay, let's start. I prefer to have flats than high heels. I want marriage over living partner, comedy over drama, foreign men over Filipino men um short hair i don't like long hair um dog bod over giant bodybuilder next is i prefer to chill and netflix at home i love pasta over oh no i love rice over pasta sorry mm, i like natural beauty than with makeup but you know, most of the girls, they prefer to put makeup, but still. Natural beauty, better. I love One Piece. I prefer mountains, but I like those both though, like beach or mountains. I, I love those ones, but I choose mountains. I love blue eyes over brown eyes or green eyes. I love Ponytail, I love Jollibee over McDonald's, I love Harry over Hairless, yes, I like Lights Off, and I love Tea, I, I prefer older men, and for the question, five minutes or one hour, make it two hours just kidding one hour for me and soft or hard 
well, of course, hard. And next, over roses or chocolate. I love roses. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope I answer all your questions. If you like and enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And feel free to leave your comments down below with your thoughts. And let me know what kind of topic do you want me to cover for the upcoming videos or in the future. And yeah, thank you so much. Till next time, this is your dear Annie here in the Philippines. Stay curious. Bye-bye.